Hello my sweet honey bunnies and welcome to my mandarin ducky. Today we are going to create a monster, but don't worry, it's a very cute one. For this project we will need blue, white and black clay, ball tool, knife tool, rubber shaper, black and pink acrylic paints. For the whole list of supplies see description. Cut a half of your clay block and then cut it in two halves again. Condition both parts into two clay balls. First one will be for the body and second one for the head. Let's start with the body. Cut the ball in two parts and make a sausage from one of the halves. Then cut the sausage in four parts. This will be for legs. Condition all of your five parts into little balls. Take the biggest ball and start shaping it into a cone-like shape. This is going to be the body. Work the same way with the smaller balls to make four long cones. Make sure each cone is flat on the wider side. Use your fingers to shape and smooth the clay and to get rid of connection lines. As you can see, our little monster is going to sit. Now it's time to work with monster's head. Take your other big clay ball and cut about one third of it. Shape it into a ball that is a little bit flat. Attach the head to the body and roll a little blue sausage. Wrap it around the neck as if you are wrapping a scarf and cut out leftovers with your knife tool. Now take your ball tool and blend this sausage in between monster's head and his body. It may take some time, so don't worry if you feel like you struggle. I did struggle a little bit too. It can also be a bit time consuming, but it will ensure that the head is actually properly attached to the body and won't fall off. When you're done, pat your monster on the head a couple of times to give him a cute posture with his head being quite close to his shoulders. So this is what we got so far. Basic body shape is ready. Now let's move to details. Make two little sausages for the ears and shape them with your ball tool or a rubber shaper to make them look more like ears. Attach them to monster's head and get rid of any connection lines with the ball tool or rubber shaper. Now let's create organic texture around monster's ears. Do it by making many little dots around his ears with your ball tool. You can also use this tool to mark the places on monster's feet where you will apply some little toes. So go ahead and apply tiny clay balls for every little toe. I used light blue clay and I made it by mixing blue and white clays together. Use some more of light blue clay to create different blue spots on monster's back. This will also help you to hide the lines or dust particles that you didn't hide properly. Make them big and small, this way they will look more organic. When you are done with the spots, move to the face and decide where you want your monster to have his eyes. When decided, mark them with a ball tool. For the mouth, use your knife tool. You will need to be quite brave here to cut from the first try. Perhaps draw the line with your ball tool first and then cut. When the first line is done, you can cut along it again and again a couple of times until it is about 3 mm deep. Then push the bottom lip down with your knife tool and help with the ball tool to form two pockets for monster's fangs. Take a little amount of white clay and create a mini fang and try insert it into monster's mouth. Use a ball tool to make sure his fang pockets are big enough. In total you will need to create two fangs and four other miniature white balls for the front bottom teeth. Thank you. 
For the eyes, create two little black clay balls and attach them to the head exactly where you plan to position them. Mark the nose with the ball tool and then make it more precise with the knife tool when you're ready. Use minimal amount of white clay to create that little cute spark in monster's eyes. This is what we have so far and now we need to work a little bit more on details. Use your ball tool to create little dots all over his head and body and give his skin more of a natural dragon-like look. Use the knife tool to separate his toes and a smaller ball tool to work on the paws and the details. Now it's time to bake. Bake your monster in 130 Celsius or 266 Fahrenheit degrees for 15 minutes. I'm sure he will enjoy this. Look how happy he is. After your monster is baked and cooled down a little bit, place it into a bowl of cold water so that it can cool down faster and clay can harden even better. When it cooled and dried completely, we can go to the next step, painting. I didn't have a pale pink colors, so I mixed white and raspberry colors together to get baby pink. Use your brush to mix the colors and to apply the paint on the cheek area. You can leave it as it is after that, or you can go further and apply a little bit of wet black paint to create an antique effect. Although, if you would like to antique this figurine, perhaps you need to do it first and then paint the cheeks. I think I made a mistake here, so I'm sorry. But anyway, you need to make sure that your black acrylic paint is quite liquid, your brush is wet and you have wet wipes near you. Apply the paint little by little, don't cover up the whole figurine in black paint at once, because while you will be wiping it off on one side, the other side may dry out and it will be harder to work with. And as your final touch, use a glossy varnish to make his eyes sparkle. You are now officially done! Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!